Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to talking about fetal development. This is part two. Okay, so far you have gone through the process of how the embryo becomes implanted. Today that is where we pick up. Okay, first you should know that pregnancy officially begins when there is implantation. If the implantation does not happen, pregnancy does not happen. And officially, pregnancy is divided into three trimesters, which are three months each. That is both convenient because nine is divided, divisible by three, but it also is because these are kind of pivotal moments in the, t the development of the baby. So welcome to the first trimester of the pregnancy. Okay, this is where we left off with implantation, which is about 10 days after conception happens, uh, which by the way is the third to fourth week of pregnancy. And you go, how is that the fourth week of pregnancy if the baby was only conceived 10 days ago? This is one of the confusing items when you try to read about development of the baby, about when things happen. In early pregnancy, they tend to talk about how many days from conception when the egg and sperm combine. However, the official pregnancy begins at the last menstrual period. Okay, and what they do is they take the date of the last period and they add 280 days to be able to determine when the baby is due because they don't know exactly when conception happened. Now, the baby is about the size of a poppy seed. So you have that little bitty tiny dot right there. That is baby. And this is what you looked like at this stage in time. Not much to look at. Um, you are connected right here by the connecting stock. Remember, you have the blastocele around. And this little tiny line right here that's called the primitive streak is what's going to end up becoming your nervous system. Okay? There's not a whole lot to see at that point in time as far as the different things that we're concerned about. Now, we're going to go through this in the first trimester week by week. You are just going to get the highlights because there's way too many things that happen. But after that, we're going to start going month by month because it's less detailed. You would be amazed how much the baby changes in one day at times during pregnancy. Okay, so that was the fourth week. So on to the fifth week of pregnancy. Okay, so this is just a few weeks, or just a few days later. You can see you dramatically look different. You are still attached at the one side. You can see where that little line was. You now have kind of the shadow of a nervous system right here. This up here will become your brain and this little line right down here will become your spinal column and down here will become the pelvic area. You are still teeny tiny. However, at this point when you are teeny tiny, you have your blood actually forms so you start getting red blood cells and things like that. Your nervous system, as we can see, is forming, and you're also starting to form your internal organs, like your heart, stomach, liver, kidneys. Your heart is basically the first one that needs to happen, and you'll see why. And just think about it. It has to circulate stuff. Okay. The next week, sixth week of pregnancy. Now, the view here is not that you've regressed. You have actually turned it to the side here. Okay? Right here 
along the length of the whole body. You can slightly see the vertebrae. You can see little lines in there. Now, this big massive thing right here is your heart. And in the sixth week of pregnancy, when you are itty bitty, teeny tiny, your heart starts to beat. This right here, this little spot, will end up becoming your eye. And all these indents here will end up becoming the different parts of your face, like your nose and mouth and chin and things. Now, it's hard to see in this picture, but if you look really carefully right here, you actually can see what's called a limb bud, like a bud of a flower, and a limb as in arms or legs. This is the beginning of an arm right here, arm and hand. Um, kind of the shoulder area would be right here, and the fingertips will be about here. Okay, but you got your scale here. This is a millimeter. Okay, so you already would be getting a lot of different structures at this point. Now, this is an ultrasound at six weeks, two days. Um, generally, you don't have an ultrasound at this point because you don't know that you're even pregnant at this point. You might have a clue if you pay attention to your period really well. But remember, it's from the last period, so this person may not even know they're pregnant yet, but they have this little person inside. Okay. They're just saying, yeah, they're, they're not analyzing anything. Okay, so the sonogram. Okay. This right here is the amniotic sac that the baby's in. This is the baby right here. And that is the heart beating. The resolution isn't very good, both because of technology and because the baby is less than half an inch tall. Okay? So... Just realize that it's that tiny with the heart already beating. Okay. Seventh week. This is you. And you can see by now, uh, since your skin is see-through, that right up here, your brain is developing. You have a very definite spinal column, which is longer than your torso. That's why it gives the appearance of a tail. This is your arm right here, and your hand is forming. You can see kind of shadows of where the fingers are going to be. This is your leg starting to grow out, your eye. And then this again is all these folds are going to be the things like your nose, your mouth, your chin. And this big thing right here is all your guts and your heart is still a large portion of your torso. It would be about half of this bulge right here would be your heart. And you can see the umbilical cord going off into the distance here. Okay? Now, within that week, you will then, by the end of the week, look like this. and Where your body is straightening out and your face is starting to look more like a face. You can see you have a little nose right there. And the fingers are already becoming more defined, even within that one week. And you have elbows and things starting to form. You can see right here, there's a little bit of a bend and you're able to bend your little bitty arms. Okay? But at this point, when you're already starting to look like an actual baby, you're no bigger than one of those sweetheart candies, which I don't even know if they still make anymore. I hope so. Now, mom, by this point, knows that she is pregnant, thanks to you. 
because of HCG, known as human chorionic gonadotropin, made by your placenta, mom is puking her guts out. Um, and this is just where it begins. Uh, some women may be nauseous before this, some a little after, some hardly get nauseous at all, if at all. Um, but this is usually where somebody starts getting the idea that maybe they don't have the flu and they probably should take care of themselves pretty well. Okay, so that is week seven. Um, now, uh, before we go on, the human chorionic gonadotropin from your placenta isn't just there to make mommy miserable. Uh, its main function is to keep the corpus luteum from breaking down. Remember the corpus luteum surrounding the egg cell? It would break down and then the, you, the mother would have her menstrual cycle. Okay, The HCG hormone keeps the corpus luteum functioning so that the endometrium stays so that the pregnancy stays. Otherwise, it would break down and everything would go on. Now, what also is cool is they're not positive, but they believe it also, for some po in some way, actually prevents the mother's immune system from attacking baby as well. Because remember, baby's DNA is all their own. It is not the mother's DNA. So mom's body sees this as an invader and yet does not attack it during a pregnancy. Okay, so week seven, you're starting to look like you, even though you're teeny tiny. Okay, eighth week. Um, they give the example of a bike spoke bead, whatever that is. I don't know if I've ever seen one in person, but you get the idea about the size. Okay, Eighth week, your fingers and toes look like fingers and toes. You even have the beginnings of little fingerprints and toe prints on them. Uh, your face, you can see a very definite nose now. Your mouth, your ear, although it's not quite in the right spot by the end of the eighth week. Uh, tail is basically gone, even though it's not a tail. And for the first time, if you're looking for it, you actually can hear the baby's heartbeat. You can't hear it with the stethoscope because baby's too tiny, but you can hear it with an ultrasound if you listen. Okay, they're getting ready. Okay, so that was baby's heartbeat. Um, baby's heartbeat is a lot faster than an adult's because it is doing a lot of work. For some reason, the smaller something is, the faster its heartbeat seems to be. Okay, so you can see you are most definitely changing into the beautiful you that you are. You got the umbilical cord coming off the belly. And you're pretty skinny looking, but you'll f um, see that change later on. Right now, you're just worried about getting all the parts. Um, your eyelids are not yet open, but your skin is clear enough that you can see the eyes in there. And if you saw a picture from the front, you would have your nostrils and your mouth. Okay. Week nine. You're up to being a Hershey's Kiss. Okay, fingers and toes are there. Your eyes are completely there. Your bones and muscles are working their way into existence. And you can see in this picture very definitely that you are looking like a little tiny baby. Now remember, you are easily able to fit into somebody's hand at this point. Um, 
person probably knows they're pregnant, but they are not showing a baby bump. Not even a little bit yet. Okay, so you are already significantly changed from how you started out just a few weeks before. Okay, 10th week. You're all the way up to the size of a poly pocket, which I also don't know if they make anymore. At this point, you get a name change. You now become called a fetus instead of an embryo. The reason being that you're now a fetus is because everything that is going to exist is present. It doesn't necessarily work yet. It doesn't necessarily have all its fine details yet. But all of your organs and tissues and fingers and toes and skin and ears, all of it is there. You have all of your pieces. They're not done yet, but they are there. So you are now a fetus. And you can tell looking very adorable. Uh, all the blood vessels and things that you see back here are actually part of the placenta and the amniotic sac, the umbilical cord. You can see the blood vessels going from baby to mama right here. Okay, 11th week, you're all the way up to a Lego man. Okay, hair is starting to grow. You, you, you have those hair follicles there. You are actually getting what are called tooth buds in the gums of your mouth. Not teeth, but the tooth buds. Kind of like how when you're a uh, baby or a little kid and you lose your teeth, you have these lumps underneath. Well, you have lumps underneath before you have teeth. Those are the tooth buds. Okay, so those little teeny tiny teeth are starting to form and to grow. And by this point, little Lego person is rolling and flipping and kicking and stretching. But the thing is, is they are so tiny still inside the uterus that it cannot be felt. Now, what you see in the upper right is what is called a 4D ultrasound. This is basically a digital representation using ultrasound, sound. Uh, the baby can't hear, you can't hear. And the computer turns it into a three-dimensional image. So that's the 3D part. But the fourth dimension is time. And you can watch baby move real time. Okay. You see arms right here. Baby's head is facing the hands. You got the belly. The legs are coming down out of sight. Baby's kicking. Now that you turn, so you got the belly right here, the umbilical cord. I zoomed in, you can see a little ear off on the side. Okay, nose and mouth forming. Uh, they're getting pushed, by the way. They often do that. You can see they're upset about it because you got the arms and legs moving and twisting and turning and stretching. And you don't need to watch this. I could watch it indefinitely because I'm a mom. But um, after they stop squashing the poor guy, he goes back to sleep. Okay? So you can see very real. And remember, this guy's no bigger than a Lego person. Okay? If you don't play with Legos, I can show you some and you can borrow them. But you have to give them back. Okay, the 12th week. Uh, this baby is now the size of a roll of film, if you could ever find film in existence, but that's how big it is. Okay, you can see this is from a 3D sonogram. Uh, this is only two inches long and only about half an ounce. Uh, however, as tiny as that is, they have doubled in size since the ninth week. 
There are reflexes where they will grab things. So like if they uh, touch their umbilical cord, they might grab it. They're not going to hurt it. Um, their eyes are opening and closing, although they cannot see yet. Uh, their eyes aren't completely able to focus and function yet. But what's also cool is their reflexes are there uh, where, you know, the, you have the reflex where you put your hand out into a baby, or you put your finger in a baby's hand and the baby grabs it. They do that, even that tiny. Um, their hands are opening and closing. All kinds of things are happening, and they're actually even starting to suck in on the fluid around them and things like that. So even though they are two inches long, all of the pieces are there. They're s starting to show off their own personality, and they're just amazing. If nobody thinks of this as a miracle, there's something wrong with them. Okay, so that was the first trimester. I know we kind of flew through it, but there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, just realize there's a lot more. If you want to do research on your own, go for it. We could spend months on this. In fact, some people do. So until next time, I will talk to you later.